Right, and now for the bit I've been dreading, which is getting the thing back up there. So here we go then. First job, give the old flywheel a nice degrease. I've already been in here, if I'm honest, with um, a bit of wire wall and some brake and clutch cleaner. But I'm just giving it a final wipe out now. Nice and clean and grease free. It's now time to unpack my lovely new clutch kit that I got for it. I got a blueprint one. I didn't like the luck one, the self-adjusting. So I've done away with that. And we've gone for just regular old fashioned clutch. Happy days. But it does look like a very nice bit of kit. Got a new bearing, new friction plate. And I've bought myself a clutch alignment tool just to make my life a bit easier. I've never actually used one of them. I've always eyed them up and used like a extension bar or something out of the toolbox just to line it up. So the first job is going to be get this old bearing off of here. That's it. There's like a ball and socket behind. And then this one is the new one, which does look slightly different, but it's not unusual for car parts to look slightly different. Uh, let's just have a little look at our orientation and our shape. We're both the same. It's just a slightly smaller bearing because of a different pressure plate. Oh, let's hope so anyway. We're going to just give that tube carrier a little clean because it feels a little bit sticky on there. Just a little wipe down. We're back on where the bearing goes behind the two little forks. And then it's got it both sides, which it hasn't. Ah, it's got it then. Pop it back on that ball. Oh, that's a lot nicer. Ugh, strongest packet in the world. It's only the tiniest little morsel in there anyway, but you don't need much. A little bit on that bearing now. That'll work its way in with a clutch push. And a little bit on the spline. Tiny bit, just on the face of that bearing. Beautiful. Job, give this old baby a little clean up. Spray. Good old white. They come with like a packing grease on them. Stop them going rotten in the packet. Clean. Next up, friction plate. Don't need to degrease this. Want to make sure your hands are reasonably clean actually. And then I think a little bit of that grease inside there. Just give her a little, a little lube up. So we've got gearbox side clearly written on that side so that will go that side down and we flip the old thing over like so then it's clutch tool time so this works by you've got these screw knob things here and then on the end here you've got like a tapered collar and as you do that up that expands that piece at the end there so that grips into your friction plate so you can put that into your friction plate use this top one to expand it and then i've got the plate then and then i can use this one it draws the friction plate in and then as i do it up i can just ensure everything is lined up as i'm hoping it's going to be finish off tightening that up that's it a little bit more and then the whole thing is as one then and i can put that onto the vehicle without too much messing around blop 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 well that's a good start it fits bolts get all these bolts in just finger tight so i'll just do them up a little bit because that would have nipped up the friction plate in between the pressure plate and the flywheel and then i can tighten her right down in that's it oh just nipped up a little tiny bit enough to grab me plate that's it and then i can take this out loosen that off pull that out jobs are good now just very gradually go around and gently tighten everything up nice and evenly in a diagonal fashion. I haven't got a torque wrench for you purists out there. I just don't possess one. When it's tight, it's tight. You boys know what I'm saying. All girls, girls, sorry. All girls, all girls. That's it. We don't want to go too crazy. 35 foot pounds is the order of the day, I believe. Click, 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 click. Happy days. And I'm looking down the clutch and she looks perfect. <laughs>
All right, and now for the bit I've been dreading, which is getting the thing back up there. Let's get a bike in position. Ah. How the hell are you going to get that back up there? That is major. So it turns out I could have done with it being a bit higher. So progress has been made. I couldn't get it up no further on my chest. In the future I'd need, I'd use much bigger axle stands. But I've got a couple of scissor jacks under there now. And I'm walking the thing up. It's almost there. So gently, gently. Get a bolt ready to whack in at the top, at the front. And then she's on. But we're very, very close. But it's just so heavy. I don't think I'm as strong as I used to be either. I think I must be getting old. Becoming an old boy. Getting really close now. I can even see my old starting to line up. Let's have a little bit more height for this end. A little bit up at the back. Tantalizingly close. I can almost taste the celebratory lager. Get me knee in there, give it a last wake up. Oh yes! Right, hold on. Slow down, get your bolt in, and then I can let go of it. Will that? Won't free bad, really. That's it, she's on. Right, so that's all my bell housing bolts back in. There's one final test before I go any further. Got a slave cylinder back on. I am now going to try pushing the clutch and see how she feels. Have we got a good pedal? Oh, yes. Ah, oh, good pedal. Lovely jubbly. Oh, happy days. Right, I'm going with that beer now. Cheers for watching, guys. See you next time.